I've been a full-time Mac user for over two years now. About a year ago, I bought Windows XP, an OEM copy, £75, the price is still on there, to install in boot camp on my iMac. Didn't use it too much, really. Um, only the occasional time when it was a Windows-only program, and I had no alternative. But other than that, I didn't like it. I stayed all of the time in OS X to do everything. But this week, well, last week and this week, I've been buying some old Microsoft software. It started with this, which, even though it doesn't look like it, is Windows 7. Um, it is unfortunately the worst packaging in the world. I'd have liked a, a nice Windows 7 box, but obviously not since I got this with a student discount. I'll talk a bit more about that later. But it is a genuine copy of Windows 7, 32-bit, because apparently my iMac can't support 64-bit version of Windows in Boot Camp, which I don't understand, even though it's got 64-bit um, operating system on in the form of Snow Leopard, but never mind. So I got the 32-bit version, there it is, Windows 7 Professional. So I installed that with Boot Camp. And I must say, I actually quite like Windows 7. I never thought it would be as nice it is, as it is. I'm failing at getting this back into the little thing. So, after I realised that Windows 7 is actually a decent operating system, I thought, well, this, it's going to be convenient if I can run this with Snow, Snow Leopard um, OS X for programs like Visual Studio which obviously aren't available for Mac so I purchased with a student discount VMware Fusion now I have nothing to show for that because it was a digital download um, but that works a few problems I've had with it in terms of getting Unity mode which is where it makes all of your Windows programs just look like Mac apps and kind of gets rid of the desktop and everything else from Windows. One time it made my Mac completely freeze, but only once. I was messing around with the taskbar, showing and hiding it and moving it around. VMware didn't like that, so since then I've just left the taskbar where it is in Windows and kept it hidden when in Unity mode. But VMware now works really nicely and I can have any Windows program appear in the dock like a Mac app it's it, it is really cool having that option to open Windows programs that way added in the, the two operating systems integrate quite nicely after I bought that I think I, I've gone mad I went and bought more Microsoft software this time it was Office 2010 it's came today, three discs for this one, um, Office 2010 Professional Plus with the student discount once again, um, the three discs, one's Office 2010, one is Business Contact Manager and one is Office Communicator. Um, so where am I getting all of this software with student discounts? Well I got Windows 7, um, Windows XP which I bought ages ago that was just from a shop that's why it was so expensive at 75 pounds even though it's OEM then never mind it's upgraded find a Windows 7 by the way um, Windows 7 office came from software for students dot co dot UK well I, I lie Windows 7 didn't but software for students sell it as well at the same price so it's fine I preferred software for students service anyway. Um, so software, the number four by the way, students.co.uk, sell Microsoft software. It, they're like a partner with Microsoft. Microsoft's website actually links to software for students. So there's it's all um, legal in that respect. Sell Microsoft software, a lot of other software as well, Adobe stuff um, for example with huge discounts. Windows 7 
and Office were roughly forty pounds each, and it's it's an upgrade of Windows Seven, but Windows Seven Professional much more expensive to buy a retail copy and Office Professional Plus and Professional Plus comes with all sorts compared to maybe for example the Office student and teacher version or whatever they call it. Professional Plus comes with Access Excel, InfoPath Designer, InfoPath something else, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint Publisher, SharePoint Workspace and Word. So you've got your main ones, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook and then you get Access, InfoPath stuff, there's a few of those, SharePoint Workspace. You probably don't need these other things but it's still cheaper to get all of these with a student discount from somewhere like Software for Students than it is to get like a retail copy of one of the versions of Office I know there's quite a few. So that's where I got those from, the VMware software. You can just get it with a student discount through the VMware website and download it instantly. Software for Students also offer a digital download for software, but I chose to have it um, actually delivered in CD form because I like having something physical in, <laughs> in return for money. and that, That's just me, and it, it's easier to keep track of where these discs are and the product here is conveniently stuck on the back so I can't lose it. If I had a download I would likely just delete it by accident or lose it on my hard drive. So that's where I got the software from and I have enjoyed using Windows 7 um, both in VMware Fusion and now for example I'm booted into Windows 7 through Boot Camp. Although VMware Fusion recommend um, well VMware recommend importing a bootcamp partition into a complete virtual machine I ignored them because sometimes I like to boot into the operating system to get the full kind of power of my Mac all on one application if I ever need that if I'm doing like video editing or something more intensive so that, that I'm gonna leave this kind of setup for now Maybe in the future I'll make it a complete virtual machine because you can run it in full screen mode. Works really well, um, as you'd expect. But yeah, Windows 7 is surprisingly good. I haven't had a chance to work with Office too much yet since I only installed it a few hours ago. But from what I've seen, it's a huge improvement from Office 2003, which was the last thing I used, and I haven't really used that for a long time. I've been using OpenOffice. And in my opinion, Microsoft Office is better than OpenOffice. OpenOffice is free, so you can't complain about the price. If you don't want to pay for the software, OpenOffice is brilliant. Brilliant software for being free and open source, of course. But if you forget about the price, I think Office, Microsoft Office is better. Um, Outlook um, set an email account up in that I'll not be using it instead of Apple Mail let me just make clear I still prefer OS X and Snow Leopard to Windows 7 but I do like Outlook's range of features and the fact that the calendar and everything and contacts are all integrated very nicely and setting up an email account in Outlook is fairly simple I've never been a fan of the way Apple Mail sets up accounts, the way you kind of have the, the inbox and then the outgoing mail server set up separately with two different names. I'd prefer just them to be in one big account. But never mind, once you've got it set up, it's not too much of an issue. I'd, but yeah, I've been impressed with Microsoft Office and Windows 7. So I will be using Windows 7 a lot, mainly for development programs. So, where have I got these programs from? Here's another great website. If you haven't heard about it, I don't know where you've been. Microsoft DreamSpark. DreamSpark.com If you're a student, you're in luck. You can download a lot of development software, which would usually cost you a lot of money, for free, directly from Microsoft. Let me just give you the list here. You can get Expression Studio 4, which it, I've got that installed. A whole bunch of software with expression. You got Blend Design, Encoder Web, and some other random stuff. 
but they're the main ones, Blend Encoder, Design Web, you can kind of guess what they are, like Designer for example, Graphics Design, I think it's vector based. Um, web, I have open right now, connected to an FTP site, brilliant for um, a, a simple IDE, Integrated Development Environment, I think. Um, I'm using it to develop a PHP site on the internet. It hasn't got brilliant support for PHP, but it has basic IntelliSense. Um, makes it easier to manage rather than using separate apps for like FTP and a text edit, editor for editing. It integrates them all in one. So that's Expression Studio, which you can get. You can get Robotics Developer Studio 2008, SQL Server 2008, uh, helpful I suppose if you want to set up SQL databases, SQL Server Express, Virtual PC, you can download all the Express editions of Visual Studio but you can get those free anyway. The important one is Visual Studio 2010 Professional, for free. Um, you can also get Visual Studio 2008 and 2005 if you needed older versions. Windows Embedded CE 6.0. I don't know why most people would want that, but it's available for free. Windows Multipoint Mouse SDK, Windows Phone, Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server 2003. They are fairly useful. I've got when I've got that copy from DreamSpark Windows Server 2008 R2 installed on my server. Um, otherwise, I would have had to install Linux because I couldn't possibly afford Windows Server um, like a retail copy of it. And th there's a few more things there. XNA Game Studio, for example, also it's all for free from DreamSpark.com. So brilliant, I suppose, service there from Microsoft. And I believe that once you've got it, you can use it forever, it'll never expire. The, the, the way DreamSpark works is you kind of choose your school, but if your school hasn't registered or isn't in the list, you can ask your school if they'll sign up. But I did, and my school managed to fail at signing up. They were pretty useless. Tried, but failed. But I found... If I just Google this, you can buy for free a license for DreamSpark for one year from Journey It. I'll explain what I mean as soon as I find it. Right, journeyed.com. I'll put all of these links in the description. This is going to be a long video. I, I hope I'm providing useful websites here. Journey Ed, some education student discount site again probably similar to software for students, possibly not, haven't really looked into it. But anyway, they sell a Microsoft DreamSpark license. If you're a student, you can buy it, but the price is zero dollars, zero cents. Um, you do have to go through, stupidly, the whole checkout process, but it, sometimes it seems to ask people for like credit card details, but it doesn't take any money. Um, even if you put the details in, it kind of makes a transaction, but it's a tra it's a transaction of zero, so it's free. So don't worry about it if it happens to ask you for bank or credit card or whatever details, because it won't charge you. It's free. And you may have to provide proof that you're a student. I got away with a letter from my school. It didn't have my name on or anything, it was just a letter. It had the school's address on, but that was apparently enough. And I got a license for one year. I did the same thing a year later. Um, I'm going to probably have to do the same thing in September again. But I got full access to DreamSpark without the school needing to get involved, which was quite useful. So, there you go. I've maybe gone mad buying Microsoft software instead of sticking with Apple stuff. But there we go. That that's what I've done. I just thought I'd update you all and give you all some useful websites where you may be able to save money um, and, of course, get a lot of great software for free.
My email address is jakeatjakewright.net if you have a question. I have another website which gives free software away like this from Microsoft or some other software company. I don't know. You're pr probably not even watching the video as soon as I kind of get to this point. I assume everyone just clicks on to a different video and stops watching me. But never mind. You can find my live stream watch me live. I don't know why you'd want to do that actually, but people do it. Um, all of these people who I hope have been talking in the channel, which is IRC dot geekshed dot net hash jake if that doesn't make much sense to you you can of course just visit my website jakewright dot net join the chat there join in with the conversation and talk to all of these wonderful people you see thanks for watching